Say good morning, Eddie. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. <sighs> I hate to complain, but it's absolutely miserable. <laughs> oh, it's warm though. We shouldn't be complaining too much. that I got yesterday so those are those little rounds that I have purchased at Hobby Lobby I think they're really cute they're a little bit long so I'm just kind of stucking them a little bit in here but I think they look really pretty on my Christmas tree so I tried to hang one up high but I cannot really find it now uh, where are you hiding yeah I got all of them but oh here's one <laughs> Yeah, I think it looks pretty because it has some sparkles and uh, looks just perfect. And I think I'm set with the doves. I don't think I need any more doves on my on my tree. I think this is this is the one I purchased yesterday. He's just kind of hanging here, and there is another one. There's one more circle. <laughs> they look like a little sparkling donuts. This is one of those days that I. Feel completely uninspired I'm just tired <laughs> I'm actually laying down on my son's recliner my cleaning ladies are home and they are doing the uh, downstairs they're cleaning downstairs they just finished upstairs so I came to his room and I'm thinking maybe I should just take a nap <laughs> it's just one of those days it's absolutely horrible outside I mean it's not cold I shouldn't really complain I hate complaining like that but um, it's just raining and uh, I guess when there's no Sun I'm just kind of feeling tired and I am tired just because of all the things that has been happening and you know all the work and I finished so late and uh, last night I got home was 10 30 by the time I got home, by the time I went to bed, it was midnight because I wanted to organize the house a little bit because I knew the ladies are coming in the morning. So, yeah, it's just one of those days. I love the look of the clean house. Yes. <laughs> and my decoration from up here looks pretty good. By the way, you guys, the most challenging is to wash this window. <laughs> we actually attempted twice, but I think, yeah, I always think like we should hire someone because it's pretty much impossible to wash that window. So I'm just gonna get going. I actually have to teach. So I'm just gonna go do some work. And yeah, I'll talk to you later. Snoring. <laughs> what a beautiful life someone has. Comfortably snoring on the couch. So my students just left. I got some work done. We're good. I still have to teach this afternoon and then I have to go to the rehearsal. But I want to take a moment and kind of maybe do a little YSL haul, Armani haul and talk to you things that I have purchased recently and I have been using and some of them do work for me, some of them not so I thought we can do it here in my bathroom here's the box you guys, I order this is, 
I guess YSL owns our money because that came in YSL box. And uh, this was like two different orders, you guys. Uh, separate was YSL and separate was our money. But um, I ordered that mascara. This is the volume, volume effect. I've been wearing it for like a good maybe month now. And you know, the brush is pretty nice. I'm not gonna complain, but it's kind of the brush is similar to my uh, my favorite mascara is probably the um, Chanel volume de Chanel So this brush is pretty similar, but for some reason it is so clumpy. I have it on today But I feel like it's just so clumpy. So I'm kind of disappointed and um, Nordstrom also I know I'm jumping uh, Nordstrom had uh, sale on Dior mascaras a couple of weeks ago and this one you guys had amazing reviews this is the Dior Addict Eat Lush there we go and the packaging is really nice you guys I really really like it it looks very fancy but the brush so I've been using this for like a good month too the brush is very um, plastic as you can see like almost like rubber bristles and this mascara had amazing reviews all five stars and lots of reviews and I don't really like it you guys it's I feel like I don't know I feel like those plastic bristles are just so kind of hard when I apply to my lashes I don't know um, so if I have to choose between those two I'll go for the YSL but there was one more YSL that I've ordered and I haven't tried yet this is the baby doll um, so I'm not gonna open this up for you these are all look the same this is the baby doll and um, there we go this is the package so this one has also really good reviews so I'm gonna I have a hope for this one but the other two, I will, I'm not going to repurchase. So uh, let me know if you guys are using or those, if you had them before, did you like them or not? Because I don't know if I just got some, this one is really clumpy, but the Dior is just, I don't like the brush. I feel like they are just hurting my lashes. Um, okay, very quickly before I go to the Armani things, those little CC serums from uh, By Terra that I show you, um, I think it was one of my weekend vlogs uh, those are amazing you guys the only thing that I don't think I can use is the darkest one I don't really see the name of them to be honest with you but this is just clearly you can see three of them are just different color so I can get away with this one. I know this one is called the apricot but I really cannot see the name <laughs> I just know the name of it um, and this one is more like a kind of rosy um, tone the darkest one is beautiful but I don't think I'm too fair for this I mean I have to really blend it blend it blend if I really blend it blend it I can probably get away with this but um, if I will have to buy a full size I would either buy I probably would go for the apricot which is like this kind of medium you know it's not too dark is not too light and it gives you like a really good kind of wake me up look uh you know very illuminated and i still put my you know um primer on top of it i actually today i have the apricot on and then i put the primer uh l'oreal not the l'oreal guerlain i'll show you which one is it it's the lore this is one of my favorite primers so i put this on very quickly and then I just put my foundation in today. I have a Dior, but the foundation that I really wanted to tell you is that to talk about is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm in the color two, which is the lightest one. So you guys know if you have been watching me for a while, you know that I always apply my foundations with the beauty blender. That's how I like it. So I, of course, applied it with a beauty blender a couple of times. And to be honest with you, I wasn't impressed. And I was like, what am I doing wrong? Because everybody loves that foundation. I don't know one person on earth that would not like that foundation. Like people say it's my holy grail and all of that. And 
what am I doing wrong? <laughs> so, you guys, I started using, I was like, let me try the brush. So I did use my Artiste brush, which is this very kind of um, <laughs> big looking like a toothbrush. And um, it was perfect. So it wasn't the foundation, it was me. It was the application process. This foundation, you guys, you gotta use with the brush. You don't have to have this. This is ridiculously expensive. Any kind of dense, uh, you know, kind of dense brush will work. Uh, whatever brush you use for your foundation. Um, but the Beauty Blender or not, because it's kind of very light. And I think like a Beauty Blender is just kind of, instead of distributing, it's kind of soaking, you know, the foundation. So like my Dior, I can wear it with a Beauty Blender and just still give me a beautiful coverage, but not this one. And also not the um, Chanel Aqua Lumiere also doesn't work with the Beauty Blender. So yeah, since I started using it with the brush, it's beautiful. I think it has a beautiful coverage. So yeah, I'm actually very glad that I tried this. So now it's gonna stay in my collection. All right, a couple of other things that I've got from Armani and I've got a chance to use it. All right, the first thing is the Luminous Silk Compact. So this is pretty much the foundation, but in the compact size. Um, you know, I like the packaging that kind of looks like um, like a military hat. So pretty much you open, there we go, and the compact is right here. So I use it maybe twice so far. So it's not very much used. Um, and I will tell you why it's only twice. By the way, there is underneath, there's like a little uh, sponge because you're supposed to apply this with the sponge so there's like a fuzzy um, side and there's more like a beauty blender kind of a you know um, part of it so this is really pretty I'm actually glad I got this again I got a discount so I was very happy and this is actually really good for if I wear like let's say Chanel CC cream or Guerlain BB or CC cream whatever they call and I just want a little bit more coverage you know this is perfect to just kind of use it as a setting powder if I use a full foundation you know like with the Armani I probably wouldn't put this on top because I feel like clearly would be just too much so um but if you have like a BB cream, CC cream, or just kind of lighter coverage and you want a little bit more, this will work perfectly. And then the other powder that I've got from Armani is, it's still in one piece. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Okay, look at this guys. Look how cute it is. So this is a completely different top. It's like a nice kind of uh, plush, blush pink. And again, has the same kind of a uh, style packaging, but the powder is completely different, you guys. Completely different. There we go. And as I can see, I use this one quite a bit. Um, I don't know if, they, if you'll be able to tell on the camera, but it has a different finish. You probably won't be able to even tell after the swatch, but it's a very sheer, kind of finish of this powder and um, you are supposed to apply this with the brush not the sponge that's why this brush was really like hidden here underneath and to be honest with you guys it's beautiful so what I do I take my big fluffy brush like this one is from the Eat Cosmetics and I just kind of bounce like this and just apply it, you know, all over my face as my setting powder. And it just gives you like a beautiful blurring effect. I absolutely love it. I also carry this with my Chanel case as my little compact. And I take my little brush with me. I'm telling you guys, this is beautiful. There, I, I forgot how much it was again. I got the 20% discount, but I know you know, Armani cosmetics are expensive. And to be honest with you guys, I never really tried any before. I think I did, I have some of those eyeshadows, um, 
but I never really went for like a big things, right? So the last two things. All right, I did talk to you a couple of, was it last week? About this lipstick that I've got um, also on sale. So this is in the color, what is it, 600. Ecstasy. This is the Ecstasy Shine. It's a beautiful, beautiful packaging. I love the. See, like it goes like magnetic. It's just so. I don't know. I want to play with this like all day. How annoying is that? So this is the color, you guys. I really thought this is going to be more like a plummy kind of violety color because I really like that colors. And for some reason, I'm gonna swatch in here. It kind of looks more pinky red probably doesn't show on the camera that much but I don't know I feel like maybe on my lips looks maybe too red I like it at first but I'm just not sure about this color um, it just looks a little bit too hot kind of pinky red I don't know so but I love the formula I I'm obsessed with the formula because it's so um, moisturizing it's just oh it's just beautiful and it glides on your lips and surprisingly for the lipstick that it's so um, you know moisturizing it stays for a really long time really really long time so all right and the last thing it was pretty expensive this is the Armani Prima Glow on Moisturizing Balm. Um, comes with this beautiful white packaging. So I have been using it since I've got it. So it was shortly after Black Friday. So let's say at least three weeks I have it. And I'm going to show you how much I used this up already. Can you see it? So I'm going to give you my honest... <laughs> review opinion because this product is incredibly expensive i don't know if it was 80 dollars after the sale or 80 dollars before the sale i think it was maybe after so it is super expensive as you can see nothing you can shake as much as you want nothing will come out of this this is a bomb like the name says a bomb it is a bomb yes it came with a spatula but i am too lazy to use a spatula <laughs> So I'm just gonna show you here. It's you know once you work it out under your skin, it's it's kind of spreads very nicely as you can see, and gives you like this beautiful kind of um, a veil of sheen I would say. But I mean it has amazing reviews. Don't get me wrong. I bought it because I read the reviews. But is it really worth the price of either 80 or 100 dollars? I'm not really sure you guys. It's, it does feel very moisturizing. But when I first use it and I put my makeup, because they say it's almost like a primer in one. And I use put the makeup on top of it. I think it looks horrible. I have to like literally take my makeup off. So if I use it in the morning, I put it on, I let it at least you know sink in for 10 minutes then i put a primer and then i put the rest of my makeup i have it on today again and i have the cc cream so i really kind of <laughs> you know put a lot of glowing product on me but it is nice i'm not gonna say you know completely bad thing because it is nice it's very like i said it's very moisturizing sometimes i even use it at night you know when we have a heat a lot of heat um you know coming in because of the cold weather i feel like my skin is just so dry so it does feel very soothing so i would use occasionally at night as well but i don't think i will ever repurchase this i'm not you know i'm not blown away by this let me put it this way so it's a good product but i don't think it's really necessary so i think i'm just gonna finish my vlog here today um Please excuse me, I know it's only like early afternoon and I have to cut it short, but I have to go teach. <laughs> I have a couple of more students and my husband's gonna get the kids from school on his way uh, back and then I just have to run straight to the rehearsal. So before, be because of this, you guys, I need to cut it short. I wanna edit this uh, video quickly before um 
you know before I have to leave so this way you can have a video to watch I'm sorry if it was a little bit um, you know boring but like I said I, I'm not leaving the house today <laughs> until I go to the rehearsal students are coming to my house so um, yeah it's kind of plus the weather well, you can't really tell but it's raining it's cats and dogs but at least it's not cold so um, yes thank you thank you so much for watching um, if you haven't subscribed yet please do give me a thumbs up I will leave all the links all the details whatever I talk about in the description box if there's something you um, you know interested if you wanted to always purchase or you know um, try things I always try to give you my honest opinion <laughs> what works for me or what doesn't so um, yeah let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you tomorrow bye guys